Hey everybody, my name is Liam McGuire and I'm sending in a video uh, not only on behalf of myself but on behalf of uh, a very special individual who was actually asked to participate in a video tribute for the late legend Larry Mavity. Um, I too uh, did know Larry and uh, so I hope it's okay for me to chime in and offer a couple of words I I first met him years ago through Brian Kilray uh, when he was coaching. Of course, we all know he was first coach at Belleville when they started in the OHA, in, uh, I guess OHL at the time, in 81-82, uh, about 20 years after uh, he started his pro playing career, which was exceptional to say the least as well. But I met the man, I met the voice, um, I met the legend, and it, uh, it certainly began a friendship. Uh, in so much as that if I ever did cross paths with them at hockey functions and whatnot, we were cordial and friendly. All of that changed a few short years ago when I wrote a book on this guy, Goldie Goldthorpe. William Bill Goldie Goldthorpe, who was asked to participate in a video. So I am doing this on behalf of him largely and as I said also uh, myself. Goldie and Mav were, uh, became great friends after first being adversaries on the ice and then later teammates, both in the WHA and in the uh, North American Hockey League. And I happened to have the page open where they first met. So if you'd please indulge me, it's only a few short sentences and I'm going to read them here. Um... Goldie's mood move to Denver was going to be a short stay, but it gave him an opportunity to cement another great friendship, this time with Larry Mavity. Hockey fans today would know the name Larry Mavity as an executive with the Kingston Frontenacs in the OHL. He had been involved with the OHA OHL for nearly 40 years in both Belleville and Kingston. As a pro player in the mid 70s, Mr. Mavity was an excellent defenseman. He was physical. He could body check, he could fire a puck, he was tough, he was talented. He was one of the top rear guards in the WHA. Before Goldie was traded to Denver, he played against Larry Mavity and actually fought him after, he had, after Larry had laid the body on a couple of Goldie's teammates. Mr. Mavity basically shrugged off the attack, protected himself, and went back out next shift and kept hitting Goldie's teammates. For those that know or knew Mr. Mavity personally, you know not much phases him. When they became teammates in Denver, they became friends and remain so to this day. And that, of course, existed right until uh, Larry's passing, almost a year ago. I've got the poppy on because uh, we're on the eve of Remembrance Day. I've got my Canadian hockey t-shirt, which is really reflective and respective of uh, who the man was and what he accomplished. And as I said, this is just a short note on behalf of... Uh, a real legend, Goldie Goldthorpe, to another in Larry Mavity and uh, to his family, close friends, associates, uh, extreme condolences. And I will finish as I always do these with a small toast. This is, couldn't get more Canadian than this. This is Signal Hill Whiskey from The Rock. Sent special to me. So I've been saving a shot to have in memory of Larry, I didn't know when the opportunity was going to come, but here it is right here. So to his family and friends and to his memory and on behalf of Goldie Goldthorpe, Larry, God bless you and uh, until we see each other again and have a chance to do this. Cheers, sir. G'day.